Okay, it is live now, right now. Ladies and gentlemen, before we start the talk, in order to avoid uh, avoid any disturbance later, I would like to ask you to turn off your microphone. Before that, I want to introduce what is RINTIS. RINTIS is the, the abbreviation of the research innovatives towards the integration and sustainability, which was initiated by Associate Professor Hasnul Jamal Saidun in 2004 as an annual final year project exhibition that featured the three design departments in the School of New Art USM. The department involved uh, graphic communication, new media design and technology, and also product design. Rintis is uh, the epilogue of the understudy ventures before graduation, permitting them to feature their creative work for possible formalization. It likewise fill in as the pathway for the student to debut in industry. And for the audience, if you have any questions during the talk later, do put them in the chat box as our team will collect them for the Q&A session later. The honorable speakers, distinguished guests, fellow students, ladies and gentlemen, Assalamualaikum and hello. I'm Aisha Yahya and I will be your moderator for today's topic on branding. From Kotler and Keller 2015, branding is a name terms, design, symbol, or features that associate yourself and distinct from the others. There are several types of branding such as product branding, literary branding, and also personal branding. Today, we will touch on personal branding, which was important to build consistency in tone, messaging, context, voice, and overall image to the public. In this fourth industrial revolution, where we know there are blurring boundaries between the physical and digital world, personal branding play an important part to keep our audience engaged. Now, moving on along to our session, please welcome Dr. Izzel Asnia Zukifli, who will be speaking to us on Unleash Your Inner Personal Branding Throughout Social Media. Before that, I would like to introduce her background as she is one of the senior lecturers of persuasive communication in the School of Communication USM. She received her doctoral degree from the University of Malaya Business School, focusing on the marketing, consumer, and social media. Prior to that, she received her master in art in advertising from School of Applied Communication, Royal Melbourne Institute of Technology, Australia, and bachelor's in art majoring in advertising at Faculty of Communication and Media Study, UITM. Furthermore, Dr. Iza has done much research that is cross-disciplinary in the area of digital marketing communication and online consumer behavior. Hence, her reputation has been established as she has been awarded Malaysia Research Star Award MRSA by Ministry of Higher Education and Scopus as her contribution in research and publication mainly in reputable journals such as Computer in Human Behavior, Journal of Marketing Theory and Practice, Journal of Marketing Communication, and many more. She is currently a Deputy Dean of Research, Innovative and Industry Community Engagement, as well as Honorable Vice. Secretary of the Malaysian Association of Communication Educators. Without any further ado, the floor is now, Doctor. Thank you so much, Aisha, uh, for the uh, sweet introduction about me. Thank you, Nuru Ashikin. Uh, you've been giving me uh, a clap since just now. Thanks for that. It keeps me motivated. Thank you. Okay. Um, um, first of all, I would like to thank Rintis especially because uh, giving me a chance uh, to come and share a bit of uh, my knowledge or a bit uh, a bit perspective a bit of perspective on uh, personal branding with the students uh, today, and how I would uh, approach this talk is more on um, how to help you uh, for your career development. 
it will not be more on the brand personal branding from the business perspective it will be more on the student perspective how you need to how you can use some of the tips that i'm going to share uh, to develop your personal brand to move forward you know making your online presence according to the stages and process of personal branding so that is basically what i'm going to do today um okay First of all, let me just, uh, I have a slide because I think uh, just now um, the team was asking me whether I have a slide or not. Uh, a slide is a must when we are having a online, online sort of like talk or conference like this. If not, it will be very boring. Okay. Let me share this first. Right now. This is the title I was given um, by Rintis or by uh, Seni School of, of the Arts. Unleash your in, inner personal branding through social platform. So there's a few keywords here in the title. You can see that unleash, unleash, trying to discover, you know, uh, trying to, to, to explore more on the side of personal branding. And also another keywords here is social platform. So these are the three components that I would highlight uh, during my thought, uh, my my talk, which is on unleashing this word, these keywords, personal branding through social platform. So you are, we are going to connect this uh this this part, unleashing or discovery, on your personal branding through social platform. Why I choose social platform instead of social media? Because social media is is quite specific. When I talk about social platform, it could be across every platform. It includes social media, include website, include blogging, includes um, so other things. Using social uh, medium online. Okay. So I know I understand because this morning I I did not manage to catch up your your session, but it triggers me uh, um, something that you wrote on your Facebook, Rinkis wrote on your Facebook about uh, the talk earlier by Cable, right? I'm not. Uh, I think that talk uh, was about uh, something to do with career development. It triggers me when it says in your Facebook uh, this line. I have been studying, but when it comes to real life industry i am scared so i i i think i like to bring this word further i i'm, I'm not sure what was the content on about the earlier talk but i think uh this this word is very 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 um synonym with what i'm going to talk um after this you know um it says here you are scared uh with the real life industry why students mostly are scared? Why you are scared? You are well prepared. You, we, we, we develop you. We give you so much practice. We give um, you, you go through a, a very intensive uh, courses in order to develop you to become a person. But when you want to go out, why you have this, this, this thought, you know, I am scared of what's going on after this, you know, after my university, life, what's going on after that, you know? So, how to try to overcome this is by having this. Start to develop your personal branding from now. Prepare yourself for the industry. Try to do, to take some small stage, you know, small steps from now. Developing slowly your brand. So, when you go out uh, and prepare yourself for the industry, you are well ready. You are not scared because you have show showcasing your, your capabilities. You have put on everything about what you can do and you are prepared. It's just you are waiting out there to be picked and uh, work with your um, dream company and so on. So this is the G's of personal branding. You want to be seen among the others. Okay. So before I start, I would like to bring a, a, a hard fight, I could say, about some reality what, that we are facing now. This is a normal uh, figure, the latest one just to, to show to you how aggressive how fast these things are moving we have currently a population about 7.9 billion it's increasing uh quite 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 fast but for now as of today we have 7.9 billion all right so out of 7.9 billion 8.6 million are internet users the number is very the the the, the divide is very huge here because we are talking about earth population world population 
all right some uh, some part of the world they might not have a good access to internet so these pull down the number so out of this 8000 uh, 8.6 uh, 8 million internet users half of that are mobile subscribers about 4.6 this is huge number to compare to i mean if you want to relate that to internet users so out of 4.6 million 4.2 million are social media users this is a world of global scenario. Let me bring you to what we are in. This is your number. You fit in here very much. In Malaysia, we have about 32.3 uh, million population. So who can, uh, what you can guess next number, I'm going to create to throw you anyway. So from 32.3 million, 89.6% of Malaysian are internet users. It is close to 90%. It's not, it's not, it's not small number. It's so huge. It's gigantic, actually. When you, when, when you want to compare this number to the population, about 90% of Malaysian are uh, internet users. We have access to internet, especially during this COVID, this pandemic, you know, this new era of COVID. We need to have this technology. In, in our head, you know? So out of this number, 86% are social media users. You see the difference from 89.6 or 90% to 86%, it's about 4% different. So how many of us are on internet, or not only on internet, are using or have account with social media? So this number is not something we can just ignore. All right, so out of this, this is how the division become. From 86% of Malaysian world who are a uh, social media users, 94% are on YouTube, access to YouTube, at least somehow watch YouTube videos. 92% on WhatsApp. I talked with Aisha. I do not know Aisha personally at all. She just come to me and WhatsApp me and said this and that. And we just communicate for today's talk. 92% on WhatsApp and you use WhatsApp for your uh, for your class, for your uh, apa ni, uh, projects, perhaps for this uh, arrangement, you know, to design such a such a renowned uh, project like this, you need a, a medium of communication. Basically, WhatsApp, one of the contributors, 89% on Facebook, 75% on Instagram, Twitter. Of, uh, is moving down a little, 49% with Twitter. Telegram is, is picking up 38, 38%. TikTok is also picking up. Before it was about 20 something. Now in Malaysia, it increased to 36% on TikTok, TikTok and 33% on LinkedIn. So LinkedIn is one of the important social media platform that will help you a lot in overcoming that term just now. I am so scared with the industry so use this social media platform to build up your report to build up your brand so that when you are ready to go out and work you would not be scared anymore you are confident because you know you are good in what you are doing you post it you showcase it on your linkedin on your social media and that's it all right so these are these are the statistics which i think um, as a student we should not ignore we know we are on Facebook, we know we are on social media, any kind of social media, perhaps we might have other social platform coming up and you might, you, you, you could be among the first one, you know, among the early adopters to go in and subscribe or follow or, or have account and so on. But bear in mind, this number is an important one because this number, if you turn that into an opportunity, you know how to maneuver, how to, to use this, how to strategize yourself. Okay. So among all, uh, Malaysians spend about an average of three hours a day on social media. Three hours a day. This is average. Consider, considering you as a student, you know, I am as a lecturer, my mother, your mother, your father, your nene, and so on. You know, so this, the, the average comes to about three hours. And out of all this, 53% of social media users use for work purposes. So when we say work purposes, it is not a platform that is only social. This social definition, the concept of social here could be very huge. All right. Now, out of that number, let me bring to another statistic. 
91% of internet users use search engines to find information. Why this info, this statistic is important? 91% almost, almost, you know, uh, it's shy by uh, 9%. This is very high. We use search internet for search engine. We want to find anything we go to internet. So with this number, what I'm trying to tell you is that what will your future employers find when they search for specialists in your, in your field? Will they find you? Will they find Aisha? Because I have Aisha on the screen. So Aisha jadi bahan saya lah for today. Will they find Aisha here? If they want to look for somebody who can do some, uh, some, uh, if, if they're looking for video specialists, for instance, will they find you? So this is why it is very important for you to start to brand yourself so that when it, when your time comes to go out in the industry, you are there. You can easily be picked. Okay, let's go and look at this. You need to make, you need to make yourself stand out among the other. Say in today's talk, how many we have now, Aisha? Berapa ada? Participant, I have about 17 here. Perhaps I do not know how many uh, on, on the live streaming. So out of the number here, say I have 50, 50 participants here. What can make you stand out from among the rest? Or even in your cohort, in your batch, you know, I do not know how many. I presume 100, for instance. Out of these 100, what makes you stand out among the others? Uh, this is the element of branding. Why you need to do that? Because you are living in a competitive market. As I mentioned just now, uh, everybody, you see everybody is online, everybody is in, on internet, you are living in a competitive market. This is, this is the reason why, one of the reasons why you feel scared. You know, in competitive market, if you don't brand yourself, you just become a normal commodity. A commodity where uh, if you it's, 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 uh, if you don't highlight yourself, people will not manage to find you. People will not appreciate you, appreciate your talent, appreciate your expertise and so on. The market is being very, very competitive. And it is very crowded too. It's not only competitive, it's crowded. You see online just now, how, how, how many of us are using social media? 80, 86%. It is so crowded. So when it is crowded, can you easily impress people? Can you easily, you know, show to people that this is what you are doing? If you don't go, if you don't start to brand yourself, it will not be easy. It will be hard for you to differentiate yourself. And it will be messy for you to discover your identity. Because one of the elements of personal branding is you need to create your own identity. You need to be different. Remember the picture of the umbrella just now? You need to be that one umbrella which has different color. All right? Hence, it will not help you much in finding your job. This will bring back to what uh, your, your session earlier on. You are scared to be in the industry because you are not prepared. You don't prepare yourself at all. All right? So. You need to be seen out from the crowd. This is the message I'm trying, trying to tell you now. Is you need to be seen out from the crowd. But how? We are going to see, to learn some tips and some, 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 I could say, simple strategy. Because it's just a talk, it's not a class, so it's just a simple strategy on how to start branding yourself. Let's start branding yourself. Okay, this is one of the very... Um, a good saying or I like the saying very much or if you talk about personal branding this is one of the prominent saying that people use to to to, to quote you know you we are the CEO of our own company when you talk about personal branding we are the CEO of our company our company what is our company me Inc. Saya Sinian Berhad 
or Aisha sendiri yang berhak. You are the CEO of your own company. To be in where you are today, you know, to be in the competitive market, to be in a crowded place that we seen just now, your job is to be the head of the marketer. What head marketer do? They need to do some branding exercise. For the brand that is called you. So in this context, you are the brand. Whatever you do, the way you eat, you, the way you dress, the way you talk, the way you put up your head, the way you see, uh, the way you, you your gestures and everything, that, that makes your brand. That makes a, develop, a, 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 a accumulation of that develop me incorporated. So your focus today is you. So let's go in a bit more detail. What is personal branding? In a general term, personal branding is the process of how we market ourselves to others. How we market ourselves to others. And one of the keywords that you could hold here is the process. It's a process. Process means it does not happen in a day. It does not develop in a day. It takes some time. From point A to point B, point B to point C, point C to point D, and so on. That is the process. The process of de developing you into a graduate takes about uh, three years, four years, until you 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 successfully uh, do your rinty, showcase your product, and so on. And that is a process. Okay, so same goes with personal branding. It's the process of how you market yourself yourself to others. This is a general um, definition. What is the specific one? It's again the process by which you differentiate yourself. How to market? You differentiate yourself by identifying and articulating your unique value proposition. And this is the thing that can make you outstanding. And then you need to leverage that across platform. Don't stick to one platform because your visibility would be very small. Leverage that across platform with a consistent message. Jangan, don't speak one language in Facebook, another language in LinkedIn. Suddenly in LinkedIn, you become very strict, very uh, authoritative, for instance, or very, uh, very uh, your language is a bit uh, strong, you know. But in Facebook, you are witty, you are um, uh, humor, witty, humorous, you are relaxed, you know, you're cool. Don't, don't put so many kind of, um, of language, you know, to portray yourself. Be consistent. Message and image to achieve your specific goal. If your goal in doing personal branding because you want to get uh, in, you want to be hired by a good company, start from now. That would be your goal. So the way you put out your message would need to be tallied to this goal. If you use social media just for fun or for social thing, your goal is different. So it's, you need to understand what is your goal before you start to go through this process. So what your brand should be. Any person can create an image online. We have our Facebook on our Facebook account. We have our Twitter account. We have Instagram account. That's it. We can have our image online, but it does not mean a thing at all if you don't have a personality and a voice behind the screen that you put in. You can have so many uh, social media platforms, social platforms, but if you don't have consistency, you don't have personality, it will not match. So one of the keywords here that you should bear or you should pick is your voice and your personality needs to be consistent. Hence, in doing that, you need to be able to make an alignment, the importance of alignment. Make sure it is aligned carefully. How to align this? You establish a clear, consistent, transparent, and authentic voice. Online, which contributes to how you see yourself and how you want people to perceive you, to see you at the same time. If you want people to see you as A, make sure you speak the language that can lead them to see you as an A. All right? So it is about having a long term. See, just now I say about process, a long term. 
strategic from the the first day you think about going being being uh being uh pretty serious with this exercise which is uh, developing your personal brand that is the, the the time you need to start to strategize how you want to be seen what kind of language you want to use language here means bukan language as in uh, bahasa melayu or english or chinese and so on language as in the 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 tone of that is the same and creative approach in telling your story sharing your knowledge and navigating the field effortless, effortlessly to build your connection with a with a, a strategic alignment of all of this you would be definitely you would definitely manage to build your connection one point here you need to this is the takeaway point is self impression self impression is something that we develop perception is something that people see us it is a two way uh, street self impression is what we, we we have in us perception is how people see you as i mentioned just now if you want people to see you as an a make sure you show you are an a if you want people to see to 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 see you as an artist you want to create that tone create that voice create that personality so people would see you as an artist bukan seeing you as a artist wanna be or short short sendiri kind of thing you know all right so this is one of the takeaway point which is self impression self impression based equivalence to perception deal with this one first all right now Let's move, move on to the steps of developing your personal branding. These are the process. There's four steps. That, um, uh, there's many other steps as well. You know, uh, it depends on who, who, who's your guru or you, your book or, uh, or, or model that you want to pick, you want to use. But for the purpose of today, you know, a simple talk like this, I'll just pick a simple one, which is we have four here. Number one, you need to develop your brand. And then discover your brand. How to develop? You need to discover. Discover your brand, maintain your brand, and communicate about it. So these are the four steps. Let's go to number one, which is discover your brand. So when you want to discover your brand, this is more like analyzing what's going on. There's two sides of it. The insight about you and the insight about what, how, others see, how others see you. Like I mentioned just now earlier on, right? It's a you create a self impression, while the other side, the other side of the screen, will create a perception. So, what are the insights that you want to share? Pick your goal. To kena tahu what are you your goal? If you want to be here in showcasing your your capability, you know, uh, you are very good in this kind of uh, um, uh, from art school of idea. Yeah? But you have new media, for instance, or fine arts, or uh, visual, um, uh, um, packaging, design, or anything, you know. So make sure you, if that is your goal, if that is something that you want to highlight, stick to that. Pick your goal. When we talk about goal, we cannot have lots of goal at one time. That will tangle the whole idea of discovery. Pick only one prominent one. So share that. What is your personal drivers with regards to your goal? What are your values? If you want to be seen as a person who is good in visual communication, for instance, you know, what are the values that you want to, to, to put in to show that, to, to further enhance that you are a visual communicator, communicators. You are good in, uh, in communicating visuals, coming out with packaging, coming out with, with design and so on. What are you passionate about? And what are you known for? And, and could be many others. Question that you can pose with regards to not pose, yeah. These are the question that you should ask yourself in order to pick or in order to strategize your language, your personality, and so on. So from others, how are you going to get this insight? You might want to ask them to describe about you. You might want to ask your friend to describe about you. You know, to, uh, after after a. Uh, uh, perhaps after half a year of of starting with uh, with this process or this personal branding exercise, you might want to ask your friend, "What do you think about uh, my posting? What do you think about my writing? What do you think about my sharing, and so on?" 
you want to get some insight from from the other the other party what are the compliments people make about you this is through some sharing if you are good in design you might post something uh, about design you see so if if your posting is good people will start to share people will start to appreciate from there you can see how people compliment sometimes people share but they talk bad things about your 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 idea about your design and so on so this is also an insight you see and thirdly what about you makes people stop watch and say wow this girl has something i want to follow her if let's say in your linkedin so try to get your insight and insight from others so that you can put this together and discover about yourself. Then from there, you can, from there you can develop your brand. After you discover what you want to be seen of, you develop your brand. In here, what you need to do, identify your audience, who you want to talk to. If your audience is brand, it basically be a social platform only. Like for myself, for instance, yeah, this is my Facebook. I have Facebook account since, yeah, since long time ago, since the earlier days lah, you know, uh, how long? Many, many years, close to 10 years perhaps? Eh, tak, tak. Eight years? Eight, nine years? Oh yeah, close to 10 years, probably, yeah. When I start my Facebook, it is about my personal thing, about my family, about my cats, about my house, my plan, you know, about what I like, about my shopping, and so on. But when I become a lecturer, I have to change because I know my audience is, is getting getting wider and different. At first, I was like, hey, why students wanted to come and be my friend? You know, this is friend, you know. Students cannot come in. But after a while, when Facebook, um, Facebook has, has turned into more uh, professional platform, you know, where you have uh, not only your, your friends, your good friends, your family, you have your acquaintances, you have your colleague, you have your student. So when I post something, I need to be very mindful. Because my image now is different from my image like 10 years ago. You see, so I need to identify who my audience is. If your audience is only friend, so your language should be different. And uh, don't take me wrong when I say your your you and when I your friend can be your audience because sometimes referral is important in developing personal branding or social platform. Referral is important. If I if let's say I'm a friend of Aisha, I know Aisha from small, from you were kids. You know we were together in school, for instance, lah. Eh? Aisha, kita kawan. So we come. Uh, I I go to different university. You go. You come to USM. So I can see from day from day to day. You know, you develop your your skills. You are good in this and that. I start to appreciate. Wow, Aisha is good in this. You know. So when when I heard somebody is looking for uh, for for a person who can uh, draw something. You know, who can come up with a a modern packaging, for instance, that is what you are good in. You know, I might refer them. I might refer you to them. So don't underestimate. Uh, having a friend as your audience, you can turn a friend into a uh, uh, an asset. Okay, write a professional profile for your target audience. You are the only person on earth who can do this, this, and that. Professional profiles is important. We can put professional profile in your LinkedIn. Even you can put that in your Facebook. You know, we have this uh, about me in Facebook use that as your marketing or your branding line all right number three understand your unique value proposition your own your ability you know what can make you different from others in class you have about 50 50 students as i, I mentioned just now in your cohort i'm very sure you are different from others in one small ways definitely because we are unique each one of us we are unique we are not similar at all Although we were to don't, for instance, you know, we have black paju and so on, but some point about us are different. So try to think hard about this. How to do that? As a, how to come up with that? You go to the first step just now. Discover about yourself. Then only you can see, oh, I am so good in this. So this is my unique proposition, value proposition. 
So use that uniqueness and show that in your messages, in your tone of voice throughout your personal branding exercise. And then the fourth one, answer why are you the go-to person for your field of area or a field, uh, your field or your area of expertise, your accomplishment. So if you develop this skill, you show these skills online that you are good in, in, uh, in creating a modern packaging or modern design for packaging, for product packaging, for instance, stick to that because you want to create a, a, a um, you want to show that you are capable in this. So when people want to go to, people want to, to, to uh, get somebody who is in this kind of, this, this area, you will be one of the names that they will pick up. Okay, and number four, and finally find your personal brand and future strength. Your accomplishment, you see the words here, I highlight your own ability, your accomplishment, as well as your strength. Number, how to do that? How do you stand out? What makes you different? And then, as I mentioned, I know your strength. Because picking up strength, sometimes, you know, we, we tend to be very inferior. I think I'm, I'm just um, a common person, you know. We, I, I'm just good in, 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 in creative thinking, but I don't have much strength. The way I think is similar to Aisha, you know, we, uh, we have a similar uh, uh, thinking wavelength. So you underestimate your strength. But if you sit down and think and think, you would definitely pick one point that you know, oh, okay, this is my wow factor. This is my winning over others factor. So when you analyze, you know your strength, you analyze your strength. Which, which cohort or which basket you might fit in? Are you the strategy? Strategies is the opportunist most of the time, you know. They know how to maneuver. They know how to... Uh, to play their to, to play the game, you know, strategies. Are you the kind of a compet uh, highly competitive, or you, you 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 love competition? Are you an achiever? Achiever, you don't care about the rest. You just concentrate about yourself. Or you are an extraordinary person. You have something, something that no others have. You have this point, winning over others, and so on. All right. So this is about number two. Number three, communicate about your brand. Select a combination of um, vehicles. Vehicles mean the channel, the platform, to reach your targets or your target audience. Develop a timeline timeline to implement constancy in your communication. Constancy means you do not want to be seen today and then hilang for half a year. You have LinkedIn and suddenly you just gone for half a year. Or I'm telling you why? Oh, I'm so busy with my exam, with my project. I cannot have anything. No, uh, if you having that, that kind of ticket you don't develop your brand you just have a present online that's it you don't develop it okay and remember clarity consistency and constancy will lead to transparency in online kita tak boleh. you cannot be a, a wannabe tak boleh buat -buat. you need you can create a personality but make sure that personality is you you cannot, if you are a street person, you cannot create a personality online as a jovial person. Suddenly, in online, you show like, you ha 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 ha. But when people see you, you are very rigid, you're very quiet, you know. So, you, you cannot do that. That does not bring to the transparency. So, in communicating your brand, there's a tangible uh, and intangible element. Tangible elements are good that people can see. Your personal website, your blog, you know, if you have ideas, you know. If, let's say, in green teas, you develop a product or uh, 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 what, one project, you know. Blog about that, how you start from day one until you finish. Tak boleh in English, put it in bahasa. Cannot in bahasa, in Chinese, in any language you are familiar with. At least start. Social network, create social network, have business card, have resumes on resume online. You can put that in portfolio. If people want to have, you know, even now, there's a lot of apps that you can curate your work. Utilize all that and so on. So this is a tangible that you can see. Intangible one is your name. Your name can be to me, Aisha as a student, to some other Aisha is as a BFF. To the other person, Aisha is as a sweet girl. Who I want to, I have, I, I, I have, uh, I used to have crush on her. 
for instance, you know, your name can become, can have a many definition. Can be, it can have many definitions, your appearance, competences. These are the intangible elements. So make full use of all of this in order to communicate about your brand. Okay, and fourthly is maintain your brand. Maintain is very difficult. That's why I said you can be, okay, you, if you are online uh, on social platform today and you've gone for a year and then you come back, you are not developing your brand. You just be present. You have your footprint. But you don't manage that. You don't maintain that. Yeah. Be mindful on this. Have you ever searched for information about yourself online? Siapa tu nak buat? If I can see a raise of hand or something. Who searched about yourself online? Oh, good. Okay. So I'm talking to a, a quite mindful uh, a group here. So make it an exercise. Always Google about yourself. And jangan one day when you Google about yourself, suddenly you find something negative. But it's okay, you know how to take the risk. So make it a point, always Google about yourself, you want to see about what, what people talk about, yourself. especially like like me, like a lecturer. You want to know, oh, who is Dr. Izzal ni? Tak pernah dengar pun. No, I do not know about her at all. So I don't feel like going to her talk, but hang on, let me just Google her. See uh, if, if she can really uh, talk about what she wants to talk. You, know, you do the Googling, for instance. So what comes out first in your Google that would indicate about me? Same goes to you. So make it a point, make it a practice. Janganlah hari-hari. Don't Google yourself every day because it will not change. You know, after a while, half a year, uh, you, you can Google about yourself just to see where you are among the crowded, uh, the, the, the crowded uh, market, you know. You see that, that image right just now? Among all those people where you are. Can you be seen? When people Google you, right? Be consistent, walk your talk. Be consistent. This is where I said, when you want to start to, to do personal branding, uh, be consistent in your posting. Be consistent in your word. All right? Assess your brand regularly throughout social media platform. Ask yourself, uh, you can look at your analytics. Learn to study analytics. Your social media, your social media analytics. Go to your Facebook analytics. See how many people like your post, how many share about your post, how many view your post. Go to your LinkedIn. Learn about uh, about uh, apa ni, the analytics. Go to Instagram. Learn about the analytics and so on. Gather feedback. Ask others for recommendation. This is very useful when you talk about LinkedIn. In LinkedIn, you can get your friend, you can get your lecturers, uh, your ex lecturers, your ex ex cikgu. You know to say something good about you. Or your friend, you know, in your committee. Let's say in Wintis, you have committee. Among among each other, you know, give recommendation for your friend. Jangan kena kot. Because that is their way. You are not going to compete with them. Because you are do, you you are going to create your own brand. Alright? Evolve to stay relevant. Talk about new things. The brands are should be flexible. So these are four steps, yeah? Some examples. I try to Google about somebody related to you, but I do not know, uh, uh, you know, some influential figure in the area of arts uh, and so on. So I just pick lah yang mana-mana yang ada. So these are some of the examples uh, of uh, prominent people who use social platform to per to personal brand themselves. You know, we have Marina Mahathir KJ. Kita kenal kan? And he is the most, I could say, somehow, sometimes, you know, the most hated guy. Or sometimes before, the most likable guy, likable MP perhaps, because of his look, because of the style he talks. It can be many others. And he doesn't care about that. He continuously uh, being online by, uh, by, by having the same, the same voice. You don't see changes in him. Even though he is an MP, uh, apa bukan MP sekarang, um, uh, minister. We when he take the post as a Ministry of um, Health, Minister of Health. Now we know that what kind of approach he will bring in, based on he as an MP before. So the the personality, the tone are the same. So we have Oprah here, Lisa Suruhani, 
uh, Jomo is a professor in economics, his words, his thinking uh, always been cited by newspapers, referred by, by people, you know, when they want to, 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 uh, to do some planning and so on, and many others. So these are some of the examples I share with you. So these people come from different backgrounds. You can see, right? Some uh, Elon Musk is a businessman in autom automotive and many others uh, category industry. We have uh, Oprah, we have KJ. Their backgrounds are different. But what do they have in common? Let's see what they have in common. Each has a distinctive voice on social media that showcases their personality. Kita tak nampak KJ before. Uh, Kairi Damarudin before when he started joining politics as a very softy, now somebody very autocreative. We don't see that. We see him from the day one as a very powerful uh, vocal person and he is until now. So his personality is still one. His voice online is still one. It shares their expertise in their field. Either in arts, uh, in what they believe, you know, as an NGO, uh, in politics, music, uh, lifestyle, economics, and so on. Each has distinctly, distinctively created their own brand voice and present on their social media account. Each has created a community online and offline. They are known online, they are also known offline. And even they have, they can pull the group together, they can pull the uh, audience together. Each focuses on their story, not just the picture, perfect view. Bukan gambar selfie all the time. If you have all your nice selfie, filtered selfie, that is not having going through a process of branding. Yes, yeah, somehow, you know, if you are in cosmetic, if you are in uh, in some uh, health and beauty kind of line, you know, that might be that might be useful. But if your social media presence is just about you taking nice pictures, you know, so that is just a present. Don't don't confuse your social media presence and having a personal branding on social media platform. It's different, yeah? Each keeps themselves in the conversation. They talk to their audience. They always talk. They just, they just don't post and go on the other day. First, after a while, datang balik, hilang balik. No. Each has invested in their brands for a long term by making collaboration with people in other fields as well. So these are some of the elements that they have in common. Right. So these are the people. What is the takeaway point from that? The takeaway point from some of the examples and the four steps of uh, personal developing personal branding just now is they demonstrate that while each of these high profile individuals, they are high profile individuals, they come from different background and perspective, but they take ownership of their present, their brand online. They manage their brand. They don't get people to do it on their own. Through the investing time and resources, consistently engaging with their community, and they stay true to what they believe. And this is the consistency part. Okay. So component of personal brand. There's three components of personal brand I mentioned just now in my uh, in my talk earlier, but I would like to highlight it again, consistency. So when you take up your personal branding, consistency is one of the, the, the component that you need to bear in mind. In every posting, think of, are you talking about something similar? Are your language consistent? Your style, your writing, the issue that you, 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 you believe in, consistency. Passion. If you don't have passion, anything in this world cannot be done at a perfect level, at a good, um, ever, uh, you know, you cannot do things good when you don't have passion. So have passion in what you are doing, in what you believe in. Then it will help you in creating consistency. And finally, be an expert in what you want to say. If you are, you are students of art, you are an expert in packaging and design, don't try to show that you are also good in medicine. You want to talk about COVID-19, you want to talk about vaccine. Avoid 
avoid this kind of writing because this can be your brand, can 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 tarnish you know the process of you developing your personal brand although you have some some uh some thought on that but try to avoid because that is not your forte don't disturb concentrate on yourself only so six types of a personal brands ada enam jenis six types of personal brand number one you can pick either one of this if you like number one as altruist who is altruist these are the individuals that are committed to helping others in their community if this is kind of the uh, the the personality that you want to show you know sometimes although you are uh, you want to highlight about your expertise in uh, designing a package a, a package uh, yeah designing a package yeah but the tone the voice the personality that you want to show is as an altruist you are always concerned about the rest you put people first than you so keep the tone or you can be a careerist these individuals focus primarily on professional advancement above their personal achievement if you go to linkedin you can see some people they are very careerist whatever they post whatever they post whatever they share is for their advancement you see that they want to be seen one step ahead from the rest in that particular area third you can be an early adopter if you want to take this as one of the the your brand personality you know as early adopter what early adopters do they will be the first to share something with their followers and friends and are very much dedicated to being independent from the others so anything datang dulu they will be the first one to go to you know you have a friend right um in now in 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 this covid era you know like you can see uh of late a uh, number of cases are very high you like like to me i have one friend who is always uh, updated with all this Every day I want to know the case. I don't need to go online. I don't need to go Facebook. I just wait. He will update me in WhatsApp group. So he is an early adopter. So if you want to have this kind of personality, make sure uh, you are the the place where people go to, because they know you would be the first people to know in anything that happened in this world. You are the one. Or you can take the approach of boomerang. Boomerang is like a game, right? You throw it, come back to you. You throw it, come back to you. You, uh, these kind of individuals, they share content to generate a reaction for, from others, whether it is a good or a bad one. You don't care. You, 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 you just share. So this present will create you as a, as a, it will, will create a certain image as well. If you're taking this approach, then you can be a connector. A connector is the ultimate networkers. They love to have networking. You know, they connect you with your friend. Uh, if you want to know, if you want to, um, can I check out? Like, like, like in your friend, uh, among your friend, you know, there would be some who are the connector. You want to know about this company, that company, these people, that people, you just go to him, to this person. So he would have this personality. Or uh, this is quite uh, reserved. Uh, being selective, this individual share only relevant information with a select uh, with a select group of people. So these are the general uh, six types of personal brands that you you can take as a as a start. If you want to be altruist, your content, your sharing, your image might be something around this. If you want to be as an early adopter, your sharing would be something similar to this, similar to what this kind of people do okay so how to establish a personal brand number one you conduct an internal audit of who you are and where you want to go this is like i said just now audit yourself google about yourself see what people talk about you because you want to understand how people perceive about you remember i mentioned about self-impression is from your side perception is from the other side Keep brand image and voice consistent. 
determine your personal brand association and identify the strategy that you will take. Think about what makes you unique, the unique value proposition of yours. Then determine what you want to be known for. If you want to be known as this, this and that, because from you, USP, this, the earlier part is you audit about yourself. From the auditing, you know what people see you, what you want to be and what people see you. Determine that, identify your strategy. From your strategy, you know what you want to, what would be your UVP, your unique value proposition. From there, you, you should be able to see where you want to go, what you want to be known in, and so on. Once established, invest in your personal community. So be mindful again, you are being Googled all the time, especially in the area, in the hiring market. Coming back to the earlier uh, 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 talk you have uh, this morning, right? About being scared to be in the real life industry. You know, if you have take uh, some uh, some active personal branding uh, process, you know, you should not be worried because you know what they Google about you will come up good. So have a habit, let people Google you for something they want to perceive. You also Google yourself because you want to see where you are among the market. You are searchable, your blog can be visible, your current company, you know, uh, can be visible, your university, in your university, if you are doing Rintis, your name can appear, you know, people, if people wants to see what is Rintis, Rintis, they search Rintis, your name might be appear, you know, you as the director of Rintis, or as a director of Rintis, what is your, what, uh, uh, what you are good in and so on your social media account so be mindful when you post start to be mindful from now okay in your at facebook in your linkedin in your instagram and so on mungkin lah before this like i said you know your posting are very uh, uh very relaxed but start from now if you are serious about branding yourself or i'm going to filter all those uh, message posting that you want to put up. When you want to post, it could be a a, 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 a common or a general posting about what you like to eat, you know, but be mindful. Sometimes what you like to eat also have some, some, some uh, indication to other people. So when you want to, to post something, read that many times, you know, think again, would your posting bring you a good impression? In personal branding, so I want to bring now you you back now in the context where you can start developing your personal brand in order for you to to help you your your career to excel in the future. So one of it is networking. Okay, so in networking, how did you find your job? From an ad. Uh, through your resume or posting, it could be from from event, you know, go to event, and then uh, uh, good recruiters are in the events, you know, so you can tend to 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 network yourself or through a recruiter, uh, job street, uh, and so on by referral. I mentioned just now, referral is another important thing that people might consider now because you, if you look at my earlier slide, you know, the the hiring industry is very competitive so sometimes the employer might want uh, to go by this term referral then to go and hit hunt you or to go and read your resume call you for interview and so on at the trade show uh, through hit hunters and so on and many others all right and in doing networking you should remember this networking is a state of mind and it is not about you it is a state of mind means that you don't create network. It somehow you just start. It's like a spiral, a spiral, but spiral. You just need to have the important uh, network around you, and will just uh, crawl on its own like a virus. Not viral, just around it. Uh, it will just viral. If your core network is not strong, it will not disperse well. 
if your core network is strong, you don't need to do anything. It will just crawl and do it works. Too many people talk way too much. This is another thing in social platform. Everybody talk about anything under the sun. Selling yourself without knowing your audience, creating lots of unintentional blabbering. And this is what I'm saying. Too many people talk. You also talk so much. If I were to assess your social network, if let's say, lah, you know, I go and Google for Aisha, I might find something about you might not be important in developing your personal brand. So be mindful from now, sell yourself in an efficient way. Don't just blab and blab and blab, talk about something that is irrelevant or not important. It will not bring you anywhere. Be resourceful. If you're good at, if you're any good, if you are a good artist, be resourceful in that. Solution, you can, you can create some solution. Use LinkedIn to be resource, resource, resourceful. This is where you try to create solution. So one of the best platform that you can highlight on this is LinkedIn. Now let's move to recap because I told Dr. Hanim I don't I would not take more than half an hour. So it's more it's half an hour already. So let's recap about what I have mentioned just now. Number one, personal branding and networking is how recruitment is done today. Today, recruiters, employers will go and look for this. You have full control over your brand. You need to have full control over your brand. Like I said, don't be, don't be on your LinkedIn today and then, and then gone for a year and then come back the other year. So 20, 2020, one posting. 2022, uh, 2021, one posting. 2023, one posting. How can recruiter understand who you are? They want to see. You need to, to boost, you know, not booster, vaccine booster. You need to boost yourself too. All right. Number three, if you don't take advantage of your strength, you will lose opportunities. If you don't, people other than other, others will do that. They will take your place in the industry. Brainstorm all your personal qualities and experiences. Align your interests with your career aspiration. Create your own personal brand and network heavily. So start from now, create an exercise. Do this exercise. Like I said, it is a process. It is not like doing today or Dr. Isa cakap, so tomorrow you are, you are going to become somebody. No. It might take half a year. It might take a year. It might take a week. It depends on how you network yourself. You're, you're networking. Personal branding costs hardly any money, but this takes time. No money involved in coming up with personal branding. If you do product branding, yes. If you do packaging branding, you know, you have, uh, you create logo and so on. If you talk about business, branding is very expensive. Personal branding is free. So, so be careful when you design your personal branding. Use social media tools for personal empowerment and professional networking. All right. So this is a recap. Before I end, I would like to bring you to this social media platform. This social media, this social platform, which is very powerful for the students to start create your footprint online. Kita, as a student, you want to be you 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 have your Facebook account, but as uh, as a uh, people who will join the industry, the workforce soon, you need to have your own LinkedIn and make sure in LinkedIn you speak. You share, you post something relevant to what you want to be seen. Create your personality, uh, show your expertise, show what you are good in, your capabilities and so on. Optimize your profile. In LinkedIn, optimize your profile. Number two, put your headline to work. Pick up the best headline. Brand your profile. Brand your profile as in, you can create your link, your 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 uh your okay, your URL. So in URL, make sure your name, how you want to be seen. If 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 let's like, say my name is very long, you know, I want to just have my name Isa Lasnira here. Or if I want to be more uh detailed, I might want to put my name as Doctor Isal here. 
if that is uh, is my 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 brand name i might want to have here dr izal instead of my full name izal asli that people might not know who is this i said dr izal oh yeah i know her so pick your url tell your audience what you are doing speak for yourself about what you do in your university and project just boost it find and invite don't over boost yeah don't say oh i invented this this and that well a company young young has been in, in in the world for for half a century or so hard to invent something suddenly you come out oh i invent this so you boost yourself but don't over boost that will kill your brand find and invite people to join your network give first give first means in linkedin in order for you to be seen you can recommend there's a there's a button that you can recommend some posting you know when your when your friend posts something you can recommend that post or when you read something from uh from your affiliation or affiliator or anybody in there you know you can just recommend answer question people ask you because you want to be seen at first you want to be seen in linkedin your visibility is important and then join some group uh give first make introduction to some other posting uh join group attend to question and answers be in group and active with q and a if we have usm group be in usm group if you have a uh, some you know uh some company uh i don't i that, I, i'm not sure about ads you know but try to be in this group and be visible uh, Okay, I'll talk to, uh, I will attend to your question in a bit. Yeah, let me finish this. Be in a group and active with Q&A, add content with application, find job openings. If that job opening is not suitable to you, you just can share. You just can recommend that perhaps your friend might be useful to your friend. Research prospective companies as well as you can connect with hiring managers. In LinkedIn, you just, um, uh, what do you call that? Um, connect. They don't use the word be friends or subscribe. They use the word connect. You can connect with them. Okay. So uh, what I would like to leave you today is with all those input that I've mentioned just now, I want you to bring all of that for now, you know, as a, as a student who will going out and to be in the industry, you know, I don't want you to be scared with the real world. The, the real world is harsh, definitely. It is harsh. It is very stressful. If you if you feel stressful doing with this, uh, the stress outside is 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 greater than that. But don't be scared. Do it from now. Start with LinkedIn. Okay. So with that, I shall say thank you. All right. I give back the floor to Aisha. Wow, doctor, that's really interesting topic to say about. There's so many things happen, but I really, we are really enjoy it, really. And for then, thank you, doctor, for the interesting topic for today's uh, talk. I hope that everyone is taking note on how to make your personal branding more distinguishable from the others. Uh, then uh, we need to know that we didn't get our own branding uh, for a day, just like what uh, doctor has said. Uh, we need to explore ourselves more and become who we are for them uh, for the social media know who are we and then oh yeah there's so many questions for doctor i hope doctor is really fine to answer many questions regarding their personal branding are you okay doctor yes i'm good i'm good okay i just want okay. to know uh, about q and a Am I going to yeah. read through and handle this or I shall give I know. Me? I will um read the question and you will um you will just answer it. Okay, sure. Is it okay? All right. For the first question, uh is from the Gurvin uh, for the uh from the G. I have a question, Doctor. Sometimes we like to see our likes and share in Facebook or Instagram. But wouldn't it cause the obsession toward these likes and share with affect the psychology? Okay. Um, I might want to rephrase this. Uh, uh, Gurvin, should I say? Shall I call you Gurvin? 
I try to rephrase this whether it is correct or not. Uh, what are you trying to ask me is that uh, would this like and share affect your your psychology? If you have uh, less likes and share, you feel that if you have good uh, high likes and share, you feel good. Is that so? Okay, yes. All right. How to handle this? Um, likes and share depends on the posting. If you were to study your posting, okay, try to make this an exercise, you know, since we are talking about personal branding now. Try to make an exercise. You go back after this, you go to your posting. Learn about the trend of your posting. If you post this kind of content, how many likes and share would you get? If you post about this kind of content, how many likes and share would you get? Then, by studying your trend, you will see what kind of content that your audience like. If you share the content about, uh, for instance, about your love towards your pets, receive lots of likes, for sometimes, you know that your audience would engage more with this kind of content instead of when you talk about your exam, you talk about your school activity. So by understanding this trend, you, you would know people like you to share on this kind of content instead of that kind of content. So it is not because uh, you yourself as a personality people don't like the content that you put up sometimes is not engaging enough to them. So they don't like. For instance, like me in my Facebook, as I said just now, it used to be a personal Facebook, but now I have students, I have colleagues and so on. Sometimes I feel like, you know, Facebook can give you a uh, memory reminder, you know, some good times reminder. And for me to put a lot of personal things, I feel not so good because I don't want to reveal so much about my personal life in Facebook. But somehow, I want it to be there as a memory. So from time to sometimes I don't think, I don't do it as a habit. Um, after, um, after a few months, I will have one posting about my personal thing. And I realize when I put something personal, I get a lot of likes and likes, not share lah. People will not share about your photo. I, I get lots of like a lot. But when I share about uh, some school activity lah, for instance, you know, my like is very minimum. So I know my audience do not, they know that I'm a lecturer. They know that I might be active in this, this and that. Something that would not excite them. But when I share my personal thing, perhaps they want to know uh, Dr. The, the other side of Dr. Isa, for instance, you know, I get lots of likes, sometimes more than 100. You see? So coming back to your question, uh, Govin, uh, don't feel down when people don't like and share your posting. Learn the trend about your audience. Learn what kind of content that your audience like to engage with you and what kind of content that they don't like. Then from there, if you know this kind of content they like, try to maximize that kind of content. But don't have that kind of content every day or every month. People will start to get bored. All right, I hope I answered to that. The first one. I think Aisha, I can just read here. If you don't mind, I can read the question here and I can just un answer. Yes, oh. so yes, of course, that, yeah. Uh, number two, uh, Erin K. Hi, Erin. Um, year one from New Media, Sota. I have a question. How does branding have its impact on the film industry? Thank you, Doctor. How does branding have impact? Of course, branding play a major role in film industry. If without branding, you will not know what would come next. What would be, uh, you know, um, because... As I mentioned just now, we were talking about hiring a recruitment industry. Recruitment, yeah? About recruitment. The, the market is competitive, I've mentioned. Same goes with film industry. There's a lot of film film producer. There's a lot of movies coming out, dramas, uh, you know, or over the top, OTT. Over the top, as in Netflix, uh, Netflix, uh, Vu, macam-macam lagi, you know? So, branding is important for you to highlight about your story about uh, of your film so it's very direct very straightforward it is a must yeah uh Rizal, 
uh, if we have different demographic of people in our social media, how can I post something without making anyone misinterpreted my post? Okay. Um, in social media, especially in Facebook, yeah, result, if you have a brand page, it's not a personal page, yeah, it's a brand page. If you have brand page, you can, uh, demographic, uh, targeting, yeah, targeting, having a content targeting to a different demographic, usually we can use that through Facebook ads. If a general posting, most of the time, we cannot uh, segregate that or divide that into demographic. But if for personal posting, for instance, like, you know, you want to uh, post something about uh, anything you like. I can't, I can't think about anything now. Uh, some things that you want a few people only, a, a certain people only to know, you can just use the privacy. That's all I can say for now, you know. But to, to segregate that or divide that into demographic, I don't think we can because um, unless you're doing advertise, social advertising, uh, social advertising, not Facebook advertising, and in Facebook advertising or YouTube advertising, any kind of advertising, uh, you can go, you can target to certain demographics, certain cohorts, certain uh, places, a certain liking, certain interests, yes. But a general posting, you cannot target. But what you can do is you can play around with the privacy setting. You know, some posting, you do not want uh, your lecturer to see. So you hide them from seeing that. And that much you can do. That is up uh, to your knowledge for now. Doctor? Yeah? I'm sorry to disturb you. Uh, can you please unshare the screen because we want to uh, we want to uh, show your face actually. Oh. All right. Thank you. <laughs> okay. My body is floating. <laughs> sorry for that. <laughs> Let me just clear up this slides. Okay, hang on. Who has the chat button? Okay. Um, that was from Rizal. B Musa B yeah? B B R B B. I I call you B yeah. Uh, hi, Dr. Rizal. Hello. I would like to ask what if your what if our personal brand doesn't fit in with the corporate world or the industry's world? where at times we can be seen as too controversial or the work that we create or not up to the local society standard. How do we go where about this situation? All right, B. Remember in my earlier uh, talk just now, I mentioned about the objectives. When you want to create your brand, you start with the objective. What would be your objective, uh, your, 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 your branding objective? If you want to be seen, it's okay to be seen as an artist with, um, with some controversy, controversial idea. Some, uh, you want to be an artist who is not mainstream. You know, it's okay. It's okay to pick your stand. But if that is your stand, just develop your brand. Somehow or rather, after a while, because I, I mentioned to you, it's a process. It's a process of developing. After a while, people would appreciate your eyes people will appreciate your thought mm -hmm. it's not wrong to be controversial but make sure the controvert the, the 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 element that you are putting is not taboo control being a uh, stay in controversy is fine but don't touch some sensitive issue you know that like racial issue religious issue uh gender issue that kind of thing that would be a bit hard but controversial in terms of how you look at arts, you know, how you look at life, uh, that would be some, some controversy that we want to celebrate. Okay, so your quest, your another question is that with the corporate world or the industry world where at times we can be seen as controversial. Um, this is what, again, uh, I want to stress. Um, sometimes, company do not want to be affiliated with a person that is highly controversial. And when we talk about controversial, you need to have a line. What kind of controversy that you want to hold in? What kind of things that you can do not want to touch? You know, like I mentioned just now, say like uh, racial issues, uh, gender issues, for instance, uh, religious issue, try to avoid this kind of issue. But if you're, you're, you are not mainstream enough, you know, to be fit in some corporate, corporate world, you might want to readjust your, your personality a little bit. 
if that is what you want to be if that is your goal if your goal to be to be associated or to be to work in a huge corporate company you know that company do not want to um you know um associated so much with controversial thing so avoid but if you want to create a personality an outstanding personality that is different from the rest why not go ahead definitely people would appreciate your idea or your, your the things that you believe in all right so that is from b i hope i answer you b uh chong li pin dr Izzal, i would like to ask what if we just starting to make our personal branding now what should we do to maintain and improve so that our personal branding can be more attracted by others you start from now start from now as in every one of us we are already in social media i'm very sure we are on social media but make it a point what's that okay uh put it together um we are on social media we have the things that we have posted before but start from today if you want to develop your personal brand readjust your posting readjust do do the process remember just now i've mentioned you about this this whole process that you need to discover first develop uh and then communicate and maintain so start with discovery audit yourself go online uh uh upper google about yourself first and then study your social media posting like uh, arun was asking arun kan tadi eh Wolverine ke? Who, whoever uh, just one guy asking me what just now right study about your posting first look at the things that people like people don't like people engage a lot with you study that so take time to discover who you are online actually through a series of um, behavior that you have done you know since you start your footprint you start to come in uh, in social platform until now study what you have done what you have post what you have posted what you have said what you have shared uh, how people like your posting how people react to your posting uh, some uh, go through the conversation you know was the conversation positive was the conversation negative study about all this insight gain all this insight from your part and also from the other part from the, the the audience part compile all that and see what you have become if what you have gotten similar to what you want to align your personal branding your brand then go ahead with that but if you feel that oh my god what i've done before is not something i want my future employee to see so readjust slowly readjust it will take some time but after a while your tone of language your personality will develop it will not might it will not take one day two days uh perhaps after you graduate also you are still developing your brand because it's a process it will not end okay i hope i did answer to lipin yeah that's uh, all i have on my screen and um, doctor yes <laughs> if you don't mind can i ask some question from uh, yeah. from me oh yeah uh, so for me uh there's a mention there's go to person and in field and area but how about when uh, uh for example i'm in art but people uh, go to me uh, in the different uh, in the different fields such as in management or something is it uh, uh, my branding goes wrong or oh. or how is it okay um i think i understand your question tapi kalau salah just just correct me uh, in social sciences you know arts like i come i come from communication school you are from art school management is about something uh, you know management marketing finance accounts and so on in social sciences, we are basically interrelated. Management side might need you because of your expertise in uh, strategizing some creative thinking. You know, you have the brain. They have the, you have the creative mind. They have the strategies mind. You are not going out from your branding, uh, from your personality. You are still helping them or put, uh, putting a words or sharing your thought, you know, with regards to what you know. 
I don't expect you to go and uh, when when people from branding uh, from management come to you and ask you to to share with them about account. Definitely not. Betul tak? If they come to you, they might want to ask you something about. I have this business. I want to start this business. I am managing about uh, this one brand. Can you help me uh, on the on the uh, uh, apa ni? On the logo, perhaps on the color, on the team. So your 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 personality is still about what you are good at. So I I think that is what you are uh, your 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 question, right, Aisha? Yes, yes, of course. Okay. Uh, okay. Any other question you can post in the chat box? How many in 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 Facebook? I'm in eighteen, including me. Anyone to share? Who would like to share some thought? I welcome that. Uh, Doctor, this question from Anis. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, um, she asked about. Um, you can post it want... in the chat box if you like. I can read. Let me just type here. Eh, let me just. Anyone uh, want to share a thought, want to say something? I welcome because it's just very little here, about 18 person, 18 participants I have. Mm. You can post in the in a, in a chat box. Okay, how can how we can update a social media when we rarely rarely to update? Um, apa maksud eh? Um, I think that uh, what she want to say that um she she use the social media but it's not to uh update about uh what her life something just want to um want to update about the maybe you uh, and she have uh, other interests just like um maybe in K-pop or something like that and um, but when 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 uh, she want to update the as you can see that uh about the art something she doesn't have any materials about it how 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 do the one to say about that okay um i think for students like like all of you guys the guys see uh from my perspective lah, i'm uh, uh, i'm talking uh in terms of students creating your start to create your brand start to create your personality online so that uh, your recruiter could manage or could find you online so the best way now because sometimes we have our personal thing that we want to share say you like k-pop not kong si artist ni lah, artist no you know uh, about this news and this it's okay because that is where we do things on social platform and that is where that is the medium where we communicate we engage you know we socialize and so on so best for now you can uh, segregate your social media private can uh, your your if you have facebook instagram perhaps that is more personal private that to only certain people concentrate on perhaps linkedin Twitter. Twitter and LinkedIn is the best place if you want to be seen in the marketplace as an expertise in certain area. Twitter and LinkedIn is the best place, best platform. Start to create your social, your LinkedIn uh, and start to be active in Twitter. You know, one best part about Twitter is you can tag. You can retweet and tag. You can retweet and tag. So that is where networking started. Remember just now one of the my slide mentioned about networking. And that is one of the way to start networking. To start to show people that look, I am around, I'm good at this, I'm good at that. So tag with people. I think that that is something I can I can suggest. Put a, a, a division between your personal social media or and your personal your 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 uh, public social media. If you have time to manage all, or you can have two Facebook. One is personal Facebook, one is Facebook for your work. 
you can do that as well. But if you don't have time, as I say, you don't want to be seen today on your social media and you've gone another day. You don't want to do that. So manage on how to, to, to be seen on social media and to be seen uh, with a positive present. Okay. Any other question? Mm, I think that is the last question. Um, yeah, I think that is the last question um, from the audience. Do the doctor have any question for us? <laughs> <laughs> Um, um, I question tu tak ada lah but I I think what you have done so far in Rintis is uh, commendable, something very uh, inspirational even to me, you know, I enjoyed seeing uh, how how students come up with great ideas, you know, through your, uh, through your product, your innovation. Uh, that is something, well, although I'm from communication school, I also have an eye on all your, all, all your projects. Uh, on that note, I think um, art school has a good uh, has has managed to to produce a good students in the area of arts in your area, you know. So it's it's um, it's a waste if you don't showcase. You showcase here in Rintis, but it is only in university con in university contacts or perhaps some some close uh, close university that you are you you liaise with or you affiliate with if. if affiliate with but if you stop here you know all the goodness uh, good things that you do in in usm but you don't showcase that outside it's a waste so why some 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 perhaps some uh, advice from me to you as an art student do journaling if you can you know uh, or uh, have a log about your activities in in usm if you are in first year, start to 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 to, to blog. If you don't blog, you do journals. If you don't journal, you do posting. You know uh, about what you learn, uh, what are new things you find. You know uh, in class, what you have produced, what you have invented, what you have uh, um, uh, innovated. You know what you do showcase in Winties. Make sure you curate that properly in your social media. Start from now. If you're a first year student, it's very good to start from now. If you're a final year student, it's, it's still not too late. Whatever you have done, make sure you, 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 you keep that online in a good way. So I think that is something I want to see, you know, even for my student in communication, I want to see the same thing happening in, in arts as well. You know, start to curate, start to collect, you know, all this, uh, all of your good work, you know, your production, your creative work, you know, online so people can see. Mm, I think uh, I think that much I could say for as an advice, a piece of advice for you. Yeah. Thank you, Doctor, for the advice. Uh, we are really appreciate it. And maybe uh, our junior can uh, do it um, because they have uh, many times, uh, many times in the ESM. But just like um, we, there's, uh, we want to graduate already. And although we would love to hear more from the Vizal, the time takes away faster than we thought. Uh, thank you again, Doctor, for giving us a brilliant talk regarding to the personal branding. Uh, I hope we will meet again and I'll tell everyone our talks in here. But before that, um, let's open your camera so we can uh, take a picture um, for our memory. Is it no okay, problem. Doctor? No problem. I would like to wish you all the best in your uh, future career. I always believe that art schools uh, has a good potential, art students you know, has a good potential to, to move uh, better than what you have done here in USM. So with some of the tips that I've given, I hope that could, uh, that could guide you or assist you in, 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 ex, in, you know, in your career in the future. So all the best to you. Um, stay strong during COVID. I know mental, 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 uh, mental health is very important. Stay strong, and uh, keep on, um, keep on apa orang kata, um, keep on berkarya. What is that word? Allah Akbar. Keep on. Um, I'm running out of wood. Okay, keep on whatever you do. Okay, let's take a picture. <laughs>